welcome back guys welcome to another session of Shomu's biology presents animal cell culture series now in this video we'll be talking about the stage which is very very important uh, for any cell culture process and it is a cryo preservation of the cells now we need to preserve uh, what we have done wh whatever cell we have taken we've done experiments on it we know some properties of the cells using experiments then we need to store the cells for the future so that somebody else once get that cell know certain properties that that have been already studied so preservation is very very important after doing all this task if we can't preserve it then it will be a waste of money and time both the thing so for that cryo preservation is the must so two things again two questions that we want to ask that is why we require cryo preservation of the cells and second is how do we preserve cells in this uh, freezing process so actually cryo preservation of the cells re reduces the risk of microbial contamination because in cryo storage it can be stored uh, with much less probability for any contamination than in any other means of storage second is it reduces the risk of cross contamination with other cell lines third is the reduction of the risk of genetic drift and morphological changes because in huge uh, highly cold temperatures there won't be any cellular activity present inside the cell so they will kind of just just thawed uh, you know they will just stay as uh, they are the biochemical pathways will be slowed or ultimately it will be stopped inside the cell so no chances of cross contamination or any genetic drift or any morphological changes may occur there and research conducted uh, using stem using cells all constituted the low passage rate so for that reason after certain passage you need to store them very very much important so uh, now how do we uh, preserve all those cells so let's talk about them so we begin with you know uh, passaging of the cells you know once the cells are being passaged passage means uh, they are subcultured from the old culture media to the new culture media once the process is done we need to check for you know the log uh, phase of the growth I means uh, during the log phase only those cells becomes 90 percent or above 90 percent viable after the log phase it reaches the plateau phase of the growth and during that plateau phase of the growth uh, those cells are not that viable so even if you store those plateau phasic uh, cells there in the future once uh, in, in future once we do want to do research on those cells again we take the cells out from the cryo preserve and put it into the media they will not grow properly we want some cells which are having higher viability and we only get the cells from the log uh, phase of the growth cycle of the animal cell culture you know if you don't know the phases of animal cell culture you must go and watch the video from Shomu's biology about uh, the different stages of cell culture in different growth phases of animal cell culture and then come back here now after that once we know that it's 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 in the log phase everything is fine then what we do we need to pass the cells and pellet for media exchange and passaging and pelleting for media exchange is already done after that you know we resuspend the cells in serum containing the media and then we do a centrifugation for pelleting out all those uh, all those other debris you know all those other debris are kind of uh, pelleted and aspirate the supernatant so once you aspirate the supernatant and then we take the supernatant and resuspend that cell because the supernatant contains the cell other debris are where in the pellet after the centrifugation we just throw the pellet away we take the supernatant we take it we resuspend it in 10 percent dmso in fcs right dmso is a cryopreservant that means it is helped it is helping the cell to be preserved because you know the major problem with cryopreservation and deep freezing is forming of uh, water crystals inside uh, the cell if it forms the cell will die because the crystals will crack the cell open and it will kill the cell so to prevent that we need to add certain preservants like DMSO in this case right the precise mechanism uh, how this DMSO protects the cell is unknown but we know that DMSO can do that so it's good for us we place it and we suspend it after that what we do we transfer uh, this cell uh, to the cryo vial right so normally we sometimes put it into the slightly uh, small uh, small freeze after the cryovial process we freeze at minus 80 degrees celsius temperature uh, and uh, rapid yet slow freezing 
is there in minus 80 that's the first thing to do after minus 80 degrees Celsius we take it and then we transfer to the liquid nitrogen tank and that temperature is minus 196 degrees Celsius so in any way uh, it's a very very general concept that we cannot rapidly uh, transfer the heat we cannot rapidly change the heat or change any kind of climate we need to slowly increase the heat or slowly decrease the heat for the development for the proper sequential growth and without any alteration of morphology of the cell for that reason we need to first transfer them to the cryo vial and freeze it at minus 80 degrees Celsius then we slowly upgrade that to minus 190 degrees Celsius 196 degrees Celsius temperature in the liquid nitrogen tank so that's how it's done